Steelers looking to win their ninth straight game in Cincinnati, but it's against a Bengals team that looked pretty good at Green Bay last week. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Orwitz, NFL.com. It's Pat Kerwin. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. It's the NFL preview show presented by Tyson Anytizers. And Pat, you got two teams coming off two completely different games. Cincinnati off the high of winning at Green Bay. Pittsburgh off the low of losing at Chicago on a couple of missed field goals by Jeff Reed. Cincinnati looks like a much different team this year, and you said it at the beginning of the season. They'd be a lot better. They'd be a lot better, and they, they've got a defense that's playing very aggressive. We saw what Odom did with the sacks last week. They've played the run a little better. Ray Maluga has made a big difference along with Keith Rivers in the linebacker core, so they are better. And they have a passing game that we all know and talk about, and Palmer's healthy. Keeping him upright and healthy will be a challenge, and in this game, I think we're going to see Pittsburgh come after him. But I like what Cincinnati can do. I struggle with picking the winner in this game because of all the things they've got going on. None the least of it, said Benson, who could be 100 yard back. They always had gave Pittsburgh a lot of trouble when Rudy Johnson was there and they yeah. played, you know, and he balanced up the attack. He had 140 yards last week against the Packers. Can he run against the Steelers? Can they run against the Steelers? Uh, you know, I, I, the Steelers are a different animal altogether, and I think it's going to be tight on these guys. And, and so this is a division game. And so they'll they'll look at how they're going to handle this game. I don't think he gets 100, but I think he gets close to it because they're going to, uh, somewhere along the line, have to protect the secondary that doesn't have Troy Palomalo. And when you do that, Carson's smart enough to figure out how to get to Benson. Different animal. You talk James Harrison. You talk about uh, Lamar Woodley on the other side for Pittsburgh. But you said Antoine Odom uh, earlier about for Cincinnati's defense. Can he get the – he had five sacks last week, Pat. Can he get the same type of pressure? Maybe not five sacks, but to get enough on Ben Roethlisberger. No, I, I think the tackles in Pittsburgh are much better players. And, and they, we criticize them, but Willie Colon and Starks, those guys were there for the Super Bowl. They were – you know, and, and Arizona had a high-pressure pass rush team, and they were able to handle it. They'll be able to handle him. He might get a pressure or two, maybe even a sack. But Ben – and Ben gets sacked. Yeah. But sacks don't bother Ben. It bothers me because I don't think he can last very long getting sacked as much as he does. Ben will get out of the pocket and create, you know, plays downfield after he escapes the pocket. What's the toughest things for Pittsburgh offense this week against the Cincinnati defense? Toughest thing for them when they play against these guys, to me, is once again, they haven't established a run. And it looks like, you know, Mikey Tom and those guys aren't paying much attention to it, and they don't really care. They're about 68% pass. And I think Ben's happy as could be with that. But somewhere along the line, if they get a lead on the road in a game like this, you'd love to see them go to a four-minute drill and kill that clock with a solid running game. I don't think they can do it. Well, can they do it? That's the question. With Willie Parker, who in his career right. has had a ton of success against Cincinnati, is he the guy, or are we going to start seeing a shift towards Rashard well, Mendenhall? I think Mendenhall is going to get more and more play. This will become a 50-50 run operation between these two. The Moweldy Moore factor, he's in the third down package. If he gets draw plays, don't jump to the conclusion. He should be the feature back. He's in a perfect spot for him. This is Moweldy Moore starting to get more, more opportunities to run the ball. That's what's going to happen. All right, Pat. Pittsburgh and Cincinnati, it is the AFC North rivalry. There's always a lot of it, but Pittsburgh has owned it of late. They've owned it especially in Cincinnati. But do they lose this week? No, you know, it's a little bit like New England losing, and we think that they're going to rebound back. I can't imagine the Steelers with Ben Roethlisberger losing two in a row. I think they come back with a vengeance. And the guy we haven't talked about is Lawrence Timmons. And Lawrence Timmons is going to help pressure the quarterback. He is a tremendous pass rusher. He can do things from the inside linebacker spot the other guys can't do. I think Pittsburgh wins a close game. And, and the loss of Troy Palomalu for a second week here doesn't hurt them as bad. Well, as Tyron Carter's not even practicing, yep. but they think he'll be ready to go. And if he doesn't go, I think maybe we'll even see Deshae Townsend play some safety against this uh, prolific passing attack. The end of the day, they are still 6-3 and three without Troy Palomalu on the field. They have ways to do it, and Timmons will help out to do that. But 0-1 this season. 0-1 this season. You that always talk about the current. Yes, all right, we'll see how it plays out. It's 4.15 p.m. Eastern on CBS. For more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. That'll do it for the NFL Preview Show presented by Tyson Anytizer's The Meaty Good Man Snack. For Pat Kerwin, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care.